recording for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with producer Jolie Collins. How does it feel to have your film Becoming Redwood opening here at uh, Cineplex at Dundas Square tonight? It's really exciting. It's kind of like the moment you've been waiting for, you know, you make the film and then you want everyone to come and see it. And uh, we've had our release in Vancouver and now we're here in Toronto. So today's the big day. Tell me a little bit about the special Q&A and everything you have going on tonight. Yes, yeah, so we have a special event tonight, uh, Friday, April 26th, with the First Weekend Club supporting our film tonight. We're going to have a Q&A with the filmmakers for the 8 o'clock screening, followed by drinks at the Imperial Pub afterwards to come celebrate. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to uh, bring it to Young and Dundas. That's sort of, I guess, the mothership of theatres in Toronto, is my understanding. So very proud to be there. What made Becoming Redwood a perfect first feature for a story lab? Uh, it kind of a lot of elements sort of came together all at the same time. We had another film that we've been developing as well that was a bigger film. And um, when Becoming Redwood sort of came our way, um, we know Jesse James Miller's wife, Jennifer Copping, who plays Redwood's mom, Jade, in the film so brilliantly. And uh, she said, hey, have you read Jesse's script? And we both read it and Chad and I separately um, Chad Willett, my business partner, and I, we just fell in love with the story. It had a lot of heart. It was quirky. It had rich characters. Um, we loved the idea that the story took place in the 70s. I mean, we we're both products of the 70s, so there was a great vintage element. And um, and yeah, again, it was just, uh, I loved the themes and then the, the subject matter dealing with divorce I thought was very prevalent. Uh, there was just a lot of things. But I think, you know, the reason we started Story Lab Productions, story, you know, I've, after being an actress for so long, it, it really comes down to having a good story. Everything starts with a good story. All the bells and whistles don't make a good film. It's a good story that makes a good film, and this is a good story. Tell me a little bit about the casting process and finding Ryan. The casting process was actually my favorite part of, of making the film because it was what brings the characters to life. I mean, you're reading them on the page and then you see people bring them to life in the audition process and you start to see your film come together. Uh, it's one of the first major elements that brings your story to life. And we had originally read Ryan for a different part. There's a part where um, Ryan is in, in the schoolyard and he's got a best friend who's played by Melody, uh, Melody Choi. And that part was originally written for a boy and we had read some other boys and we'd looked in LA, we'd looked in New York, we'd looked in Toronto and Ryan was in our back garden and when we read him for the friend there was something about him that was very like we need to read him for Redwood and of course we read him for Redwood and we were like that he's our Redwood, we found Redwood and we decided to make because um, there's not a lot of female parts in the film and we wanted to bring some more female energy to the film and we decided to make Redwood's friend a little girl and of course, we read Melody, and she, we fell in love with her. So, so that's how we found Ryan. But yeah, it was an amazing journey to get there. Also, because he's in, I think, ninety-eight percent of the scenes in the film. So it really everything was hinging on finding the right kid. And the film has been doing really well at festivals. He's been winning awards, getting special mentions. How does it feel to that to get that kind of recognition? Oh, it's incredibly rewarding to, I mean, we opened our first, we, our world uh, premiere was at Empton and they were just so amazing out there. And then we won Best Canadian Film, which was just like, I think I screamed at the top of my lungs when I heard that. Um, so that was really exciting. And, and we've, um, and then we played at Biff after that in our hometown. And uh, that was also incredibly nerve wracking and amazing all at the same time. I just got back from Beijing two days ago. Um, we had our international premiere at the Beijing Film Festival, and again, that was another incredible experience, uh, seeing my film subtitled in Mandarin. And, um, and they, they really loved the film and had a, a lot of really inquest, uh, interesting questions about the process of making the film. So that was a really unique experience, too. And what types of projects do you hope to develop in the future at Story Lab? Uh, we've got lots of kinds of things in the works. We've got like a male comedy, we've got historical drama, we've got another family film. Um, we're really kind of open to, again, if it's a good story and, and it's something that we feel really excited about and passionate about, then, then those are the stories that we want to make, the films that we want to make. And where's the best place to find out more information on Becoming Redwood and on Story Lab online? 
Um, Storylabproductions.ca and becomingredwood.com. We've got blogs, we've got Facebook, uh, Twitter. We're out there in the Twitterverse, but uh, we're, um, yeah, on, go online and you can find out, you know, find out what our production company is up to and, uh, and all things Redwood. Thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck with the film as well as your upcoming projects. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.